many ways. Okay, thanks to you both. And I want to go now to Congressman Ted Lieu, California Democrat. And Congressman Lou, good to have you with me. I appreciate uh, you're, you're coming on. We have a lot to get to. I want to start with the breaking news at the top of the hour. The New York Times report, the president's lawyers don't on him to sit down with Bob Mueller, with the exception of Ty Cobb. They're worried he could be charged with lying to investigators. If he says no, Congressman, then what? Well, then American people need to ask, what is the president hiding? And I encourage the president to talk to the special counsel, because if, in fact, the president has done nothing wrong, he would want to talk to the special counsel and try to clear everything up. So I don't know why his attorneys wouldn't want him to talk to the special counsel, unless they thought he had something to hide. So even if there's some sort of a, they think he's going to catch him on some sort of a perjury trap that doesn't even have anything to do with Russia, as an example, you, you wouldn't buy that as a possible concern. Well, the best way to not commit perjury is just to not lie. And the president can go into an interview. He can tell the truth. And if he really didn't do anything wrong, then he would want to do this interview. If he doesn't do the interview, then I think that shows consciousness of guilt. I'm a former prosecutor. And basically what that means is yeah. what would an innocent person do that a guilty person would not? Consciousness of guilt. All right. I want to get to the other breaking news. Uh, Congressman, the House Intel Committee, that unanimous vote, which is such an about face from last week, right, where it was party line against the Democratic memo. Now unanimous shifts memo, the rebuttal memo to the Nunes memo. They want to release it. And it is a big development. Do you believe the president, it's now in his hands, Congressman, as you know, will he release that memo without redactions? I think it was a pretty strong statement that it was a unanimous vote, Republicans and Democrats saying release this memo. I have read the memo multiple times. Anyone reading it will come to three conclusions. First, Chairman Yunus and the president are misleading the American people. Second, there is overwhelming evidence to have issued these multiple surveillance warrants on Carter Page. Mm. And finally, that the FBI and Department of Justice did nothing wrong. In fact, the American people will be proud of the actions taken by the FBI and Department of Justice. So I want to ask you about something in there that I'm very curious about, whether there is a rebuttal for. But first, since you say you have seen the memo and read it multiple times, uh, Devin Nunes, the chairman of the House Intel Committee, and of course, he of the Nunes memo, uh, just talked about some of what is in Schiff's memo uh, on Fox News. And here's what he said. Part of the reason why we know that we're right is because the relentless attacks on me, Trey Gowdy, I mean, they even go as far in their memo, they attack Trey Gowdy and myself in their memo, and they come to conclusions. And what did they say for, for 10 days? They said that, that our memo came to all sorts of conclusions. Our memo didn't come to any conclusions. Our memo just listed facts. And their memo, people will see, it's, uh, it, they actually come to conclusions and, you know, do, and have personal attacks on myself and Chairman Gowdy. Well, Personal attacks? You know, Chairman Yunez did not read the underlying evidence before he wrote his memo. Adam Schiff did. And I'm not sure Chairman Yunez actually read the same memo that I have read multiple times. There are no personal attacks on a Democratic memo uh, on either Devin Yunez or Trey Gowdy. And by the way, keep in mind that Chairman Gowdy has said repeatedly the Yunez memo does not in any way discredit Special Counsel Mueller's investigation. He has said that. Now, the president today, I, I don't know if you heard this, Congressman, but he appeared to reference the Nunes memo accusations against the FBI specifically and with great relish, may I say. Here he is. We need people that are going to do a great job and keep us in the right direction. You know? We need them badly, too. Or it all goes back to where it was and worse. Oh, but did we catch them in the act or what? You know what I'm talking Oh, did we catch them in the act? They are very embarrassed. They never thought they were going to get caught. We caught them. Hey, we caught them. Oh, it's so much fun. We're like the great sleuth. This memo, um, contrary to what the president says, is misleading. Some things in it are factually wrong, as you have pointed out, Congressman. But let's just take one thing. It says that the FBI did not corroborate allegations in the Steele dossier that were used to apply for the Page FISA warrant. Congressman Schiff, the author of the Democratic memo, has said, and I quote him, quote, portions of the work that Christopher Steele did were included and some were corroborated. The question to you, Congressman, is some were corroborated, but not all. Aren't the Republicans right that at least this demands further investigation? Even after all this noise, the Republicans cannot say a single thing in terms of the Steele dossier being false. 
The New Year's memo says it has salacious allegations in it. Salacious doesn't mean false. And there is nothing out there that says the relevant parts of the Steele dossier were false. And Adam Schiff is right. There is also corroboration. And you read the Democratic memo, and you cannot come to any other conclusion than that there was overwhelming evidence to issue surveillance warrants on Carter Page, regardless of whether the Steele dossier existed or not. And that's a crucial point, right, if you didn't need it at all. But if they included it, and they included uncorroborated points, you point out that doesn't mean they're false. It also doesn't mean they're true. And if you're trying to get surveillance on a U.S. citizen, I'm just pointing out, isn't that an issue? If you read what Adam Schiff said, he actually said that the relevant parts of the Steele dossier were, in fact, corroborated. And keep in mind, these were FISA judges that were appointed by Chief Justice John Roberts, a Republican. They have to consider all the various factors, and appropriate disclosures were made to the FISA judges about the Steele dossier. All right, Congressman Liu, I appreciate your time. Thanks for coming on.